Welcome to Hands-On Game AI Development. I'm Cihan Özer and we will go together through this course. First, I would like to introduce myself a bit and then talk about the course. I began game programming as a gameplay programmer and then continued as game AI developer. Some of the games I contributed are Headball 2 and Funrace. I also got my master's degree at University of Montreal and I was a reviewer on game programming using Qt by Pact. And here are some handles in case you need. Now let's talk about the course overview. In the first section, we will make an introduction to game AI. We will talk about basics of artificial intelligence in games, explore zero-sum games, find out how to use basic decision-making algorithms such as Minimax algorithm, and in the end, we will develop our own tic-tac-toe game AI. In the second section, we will get closer to the real game AI decision-making progress. We will talk about decision trees, how to use decision trees for deciding the general logic and behavior of a game agent, implement our generic decision tree class, use an extended for a bottle still like game AI, and finally, we will finish this section by developing a bottle still like game. We will begin to talk about the key topics and develop a Pac-Man-like game, starting from the third section. First, we will talk about finite state machines, their advantages and disadvantages, and how to use them for our agents' logic and behavior. We will also develop our generic state machine and use it in our game. In the fourth chapter, we will talk about graphs and path finding algorithms. We will learn how to use graphs for path finding, how to convert our scene information into a graph, how to represent graphs in code, implement our graph and navigation graph classes, when to use which graph search algorithm, and how to implement a star algorithm. Finally, we will talk about path planning and complete our Pac-Man-like game. In this section, we will learn the basics of path planning and point of visibility for representing the paths in our game scene. In the end, we will implement our path planner class and we will finish our game. You don't need to have any prior knowledge of AI, but you do need to have the desire to learn it. Also, having the basic knowledge of game development techniques will be a plus. The code examples were developed using C++ and HTML is used for rendering. However, the AI part is decoupled enough from the rest of the code, so you can use it easily in your own projects. By the end of the course, you will improve your game development skills, get familiar with different types of game AI, and learn and use the useful game AI development techniques.